is it that you are doing that to us? Kama ni kwako mheshimu wa Ruto wewe ungekubali hiyo ifanyike? We cannot allow that. We cannot allow you to bring down churches. We cannot allow you. She caught me on the churches part. Yeah, though. she said the churches. I'm like, we cannot allow that. I want to tell His Excellency. You know, you are talking church. about bottom up. This is a church. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was something to do with the, like a congregation. Okay. You start about taking care of these people who are down here. What is happening now that the same people are the how what to the same same people ndio unawaumiza why are you doing that mimi niliongea na wewe leo asubuhi na ukaniambia vizuri utaangalia tukiendelea kuongea hivi watu wetu wamefukuzwa makanisa tano yameangushwa shule tatu zimeangushwa El Nino ndio hiyo <laughs> Why is it that you're doing that? No, she didn't tell Nino. To us. <laughs> Kama ni kwako mheshimiwa Ruto wewe ungekubali hiyo ifanyike? So that is what is going on over there. That is the governor of uh, Machakos of and she got emotional over demolitions of the houses in at the river. So the question is and that's what I'm saying we can't call it land grabbing or demolition because the demolition, demolition. Because they are the no no not really demolition land grabbing or ignorance yeah. you know because where we can see Katie, I think you can give us the updates you have the details yeah <laughs> I <laughs> give us the details four one one <laughs> 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 well, uh, cook, so cook. Cook. Uh, no uh, what is happening <laughs> is uh, I've realized uh, that uh, this is an issue that has been there since 2015 mm -hmm. and uh, the fact that i'm seeing you know i was going uh, through the case because i'm like i didn't uh, really understand why everybody's uh, calling out the government to come and intervene in the case uh, because um, i thought uh, somebody is grabbing this land and i thought it was the government grabbing this land so when i was uh today i was uh, going through to call uh, news uh, and uh, let me let me try and uh, find uh, this okay so okay here it is i've realized that uh, this land uh, was uh, once owned not once owned uh, was uh, owned uh, by a company called uh, portland cement and uh, in 2016 uh, portland cement came out and realized there's somebody you know i don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, mm -hmm. where we have a billboard not billboards we have a uh, small notices on farms land uh, not uh, for sale, land not for sale. Mm -hmm. and they realize somebody is uh, trying to sell their land and they put a very big billboard mm -hmm. it was actually a big billboard uh, and they say that this land they even named the lands uh, by pieces you know uh land is always um like it's always named by its measurement and uh, how it is uh where it is located they named the land on the billboard by the names and pieces of the land they say these lands are not for sale and they belong to this company so in 2015 the east african portland cement uh, erected billboards uh, warning and and warning and suspecting kenyans uh, again is buying its land Former Machako's governor as well, that is Alfred Mutua, who is a right now a cabinet secretary, was previously a uh, cabinet secretary for immigration. Right now he was he was demoted uh, to tourism. Yeah. Yes. And um, also sounded an alarm mm. over claims of people illegally selling land uh, belonging to that company that I'm saying that it's for cement. Mm. And Machako's High Court on Friday, October 13th, declared uh, East African Portland uh, Cement uh, PLC as the leg legitimate owner leading to demolitions. And uh, remember, now this was uh, this was uh, this month. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and now let's go back to 2016. This company came in yes, 2015, 2016. Mm -hmm. It came, it told Kenyans, this land belongs to me. Yeah. Don't sell even yeah. if somebody is trying to sell this land uh, yeah. to you don't buy. buy so i feel like uh, there is a lot of ignorance in this and also a lot of corruption in this because uh, where did you get the title deeds uh, to sell this land 
And also you as a person, maybe you are not, maybe you bought this land maybe two years ago, of which you never saw that billboard. But also now, without even investigating, you know, some lands are also even have issues. Without you going to investigate, going to the chief to know who was the owner, who was, uh, you know, and why is this person selling this piece of land? Uh, there's a lot of ignorance, but also there's a lot of controversy in this because uh, this means that uh, this land has had a lot of uh, more than five sellers because uh, this was in 2016 where we are seeing the cement company saying that this land is mine, don't buy it. But after that, I bet there were people trying to sell it. So they sold the land. And once the person who bought the land realized that this land belongs to this company, they decided, let me resell it because this land will bring me issues. Yeah. I think this is what has been happening. It has been a cycle of reselling this land because nobody wants to lose their money. So the final owners or the owners right now, the previous owners or the people who had been owning the land since the court order are the ones now facing the problems. Yeah. Yeah. I do agree. Uh, partly with it mm -hmm. uh, so, so, uh, at a point where I don't do agree or rather I disagree is where we say that the current owners are ignorant first mm -hmm. and foremost I don't believe the current owners are ignorant because I bought the land mm -hmm. and definitely if you're saying this land was from the farm from yeah. the cemetery farm uh, is it cement? No. Cement. Cement, cement. farm, yeah. The cement <laughs> farm, right? <laughs> the cement farm, right? My baby. <laughs> the cement farm, right? Uh -huh. So I didn't buy it directly from the cement farm. So uh -huh. there was an intermediary. We yeah. don't know how many people they were in the middle. Mm -hmm. But so Mimi coming to buy the land, uh, before I get personally a title deed, I have to go through the chief, you know? Mm -hmm. So I pass through the chief. Who is supposed to give me information? didn't give me but he i'm also seeing okay uh, uh -huh. just give me a minute he mm -hmm. actually okay all right by the land i bought the land so personally i don't think i am to be blamed and if this is supposed to be something that has to be till if you can demolishing of land yeah then it has to be something that has to be discussed exactly. and then you know the person who is right now owning Indiana Teseka Indiana Pitia easy the court also has to be considerate to Najua about it because number one of course maybe the land is not mine legally all right mm -hmm. but there was also intermediaries let's also consider intermediaries so that by the time in Africa kwa point yenye mimi mwenye naumia I have to be considered exactly. and that is what I am advocating for True. it might not be my land but I'm not to be blamed for buying it unless I knew it and bought it and there are those circumstances where people who knew that this land was not for sale but I know something you can't acquire la you can't acquire land without buying so there was somebody who sold to you that is how we are supposed to trace it True. and I don't Una joke in any surprise is first and foremost when you look at Wavinia and Deity, she's talking and she's saying, I'm conversating with the president in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then later, people, even before the conversation ends, you guys are already demolishing the land. How did it go so quick? Mm -hmm. What is supposed to be? What is really happening? Mm -hmm. Does this land even mm -hmm. belong? It gives me question. Does this land even belong to, to, this, this, company? Company? to this company? Exactly. You know, ask yourself this type of question because. The court is the government. Mm -hmm. What is really happening? No, answering uh, you guys, uh, mm -hmm. by the fact that now it is a court ruling that uh, the company is the legitimate mm -hmm. owner, it means that there has been a process. Yeah. It, it has been a case. And people were going to case about it. It no, you know the court just just cannot wake up one day and uh, go and tell you, you know you're the owner of this. It has been a process of where there are parties are fighting for their yeah. for their lands and uh, there is this company who is saying this is my land yeah. and there are these people who are saying this is my land and the they is just supposed to be just that yes, is what the is. court is just uh, you know the court you is very just. just you cannot no, be just man. Man. it's not you just. guys you're not understanding this you guys uh, you need to understand what is happening right here this is a uh, okay it is very bad that is happening to these people but imagine joby you're also the owner of that land uh, and of which uh, you remember people trying to sell your land uh, just because maybe you're not in the country or uh, just because uh, 
and they thought this land has no owner. So but, let me tell you. Yeah. Let me also I've seen even the previous governor who is Alfred Motua and has won. named yeah. even politicians uh, involved uh, in that land reselling. Yeah. So it is something that includes uh, these politicians. Thank it you. is not uh, in there. Yeah, this company <laughs> you would find it is owned by a politician and this is why this is happening so quick because exactly. uh, it was in the court and by the fact it was in the court somebody had taken the matter to the yeah. court. to the court and by you know the court just listens and rules uh, according to the evidence yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, by the fact that now the company has provided the evidence uh, or maybe the lawyer who was uh, uh, now working with the company uh -huh. has uh, provided enough proof huh? and the jurisdic uh, jurisdic uh, jurisdiction was given it means that this company owned the land yeah. but it doesn't mean that these people didn't own the land as well it means that uh, your lawyer didn't fight for you well but at the end of the day look at all these people they all they all own the land there's a legitimate owner but we all own this exactly. land because so this land uh, i bought it and i have a, a title deed so, but, but now but, look at mm -hmm. we have like how many title deeds but this one company owns the whole land yeah. you know these people will be asked uh, is it i told deeds zot you know they are like more than 10 title deeds exactly. but i have one title deed that yeah. is proving this whole land is mine so where did you get all this and i didn't sell this land to you so it goes back to the politicians yeah. uh, and uh, i was to say and i always refer when we discussing land schemes, mm -hmm. I've seen this affecting us. Where my dad had a land and uh, to Litolewa to mm -hmm. one night, like you know, mm -hmm. things were just chaotic and all that, and we had to leave. And it goes back to the politicians because if there was a billboard set, there is something again before you set a billboard, there's mm -hmm. procedures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's proce there's protocols you follow from the same same you know politicians from the same same government, and you have to for you to be able to set up Iki to now no by sham but then again there were rules you had to follow so what i've come to realize and it's a discussion i think that has been going on in our country for the longest time mm -hmm. where there has been a scheme of reselling land yeah. again yeah. like 10 title deeds belong to 10 people, people but there's exactly. an original owner yeah. of this land yeah. so i personally believe number one these people if the case has been ongoing or if it happened or if, if it happened actually overnight like yeah. where could you have two in the no a case you know a case is in court it can't just happen overnight it is a case yes, so we have to understand you know, the case yeah. Yeah. No, Yes, we may talk about how could you there is a court order because the exactly. person who was ordered to go and demolish didn't tell them Don't you believe we have won if yeah? I am, you know, if I am being accused, mm. I'm supposed to have an idea of what is happening because but, you're coming for my fake title deed. I built there. What I, what I, I actually agree with you, Katie. Mm. I actually agree there is an